So craft is a new thing, newish tool kicking around, and it's s- supposed to be similar to Obsidian and Rome. I'm not sure about that yet, but I want to try it out. And it took me a while to get most of my notes into craft from Obsidian. So I'm going to show you how I did it. Before we get there, though, two ways to support the channel. Number one is to go to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale, support the channel. Number two is to go to curtismchale.ca slash slash Skillshare, where you can sign up for Skillshare, take one of my courses, one on tick tick, one on time blocking right now. Buckle up. So what we have here is just my notes, really, uh, except for this one. This one's new. I'm trying out craft by taking a note in it. And I'm going to talk you through the process of getting my notes in there. So what I have right now is I go to iCloud, OneWriter. This is my actual Obsidian database. And then this is the duplicated copy of all the files because I just didn't want to mess anything up. This takes a few th- Steps. So the first step is to go into Bear. Bear's free. Yeah, Bear's free. That's it. So in here we can go into. Oh, we're already at the bottom. So this is all the notes, and I got them in here. And I'll just delete them to start. Delete. I found you got to delete twice to get this out because it took me a few imports. If you're gonna try it, do it uh, like. Just do like 10 files at once. And I always found it was better to quit bear first and bring it back. I don't even know why, but it felt to me like there were issues when I didn't do this. So step number one is to import notes. And that's actually the export. I'm going to export script tests and in theory, do all of them. So if we looked here, you see I have 385 items selected. Oh, I didn't select all of them. So we'll go back up to the top. It should select all. It should be more like 800, 717. Are we missing stuff? This is where we had in, like, why did it skip all of these right here? So I actually ended up doing this in smaller chunks and skipping this daily thing, because I kept having like, why did it skip things? But we can see it happening right now. So I did it in chunks instead, because for some reason it didn't get everything. 788, is that all of them now? Maybe. No, see, we're still missing them. Why are we missing some? So I'm command clicking now to get the rest of them. It doesn't make any sense why I would skip like randomly when you hit select A or command A. But it does as you watch. I'll make you watch all of this. I'm going to select, make sure all the files are selected and it should be eight, high 800s. All right, we've got them all now. You can say like 903. That's good. You can hit import. And it'll take a few seconds and it should import all the notes. If we come in here, it was like 906, right? Let me hold shift. 902. We're getting pretty close there. That's good enough. And you can see in here that it preserved the links, right? GTD takes me to this newly created GTD note because that note didn't actually exist in um, Obsidian. It was just a link to a, I guess it was a tag, really. Um, But it was a link to GTD as in the GTD method. That's good. So I've got that, and now my next step is to actually go in here, scroll back to the top, hold shift, select them all, and we're going to File, Export Notes. We're going to choose Text Bundle, and then we'd export the notes. So let's go into OneWriter. Let's do Export 2, since I've already done this, and I don't want to redo it necessarily. Export 2. Export notes. And now it is exporting them all as text bundle files into export too. Because that's what you need on the craft end to be able to maintain your links between files. Yes, craft does allow you to import markdown files. It will not retain the links though. Now we get to kind of the final problem or the final step. As I'm going to go to the little three dots up here. Import from choose text bundles, and I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose export two. So here's the issue though. It only imports them in groups of 200. 
I checked today, they said this is going to be lifted hopefully by the end of January. But what that's gonna mean is, right, I have 87, and I would import them in, you know, close to 200 groups. And something that was obvious that I could see, like I'd stop at all the E's, right? If that's gonna be 200, I don't actually know. 195, so that would be a good import. I'm not gonna do this. But what it ended up with is stuff like the Garnick effect. No, I'm not gonna show it. Um, what's another better one? There was a Z. Zone of Genius, Zettelkasten method, here you go. This should show it. So that's not gonna show it, is it? This page should show it. Let's go to that page. There we go. So what we're gonna get here is, what we ended up with was this. Because some of the links span the different imports, right? This H was imported separately from the Z import the links don't happen. The files are there, right? If I go here, let me just show that. Let me see, does it happen? No, it's add content. But if I go double bracket, it goes the at, and I searched, uh, what is it? I forgot how how to write a note that will actually understand. Now it's relinked. Now I have this link again, but it dropped it here. So, right, future is, you is only as smart as current you. That link is gone, right? All, see all these links that are just gone. So that means that I've got a lot of links throughout my whole database that span different imports that just aren't there anymore, which sucks. So that's how I'm getting my data in and I'm gonna use Craft for a bit, see what I think of it, see if it's better than Obsidian or what's better, what's different about it and come back to that. But that is a big problem right now. Hopefully at the end of January, they do actually fix the 200 file import limit. If I can import all 900 and whatever files right away, then all these links would be maintained and I wouldn't really lose any data. Um, another thing they don't support right now is um, tables. Now, at some point in this process, it was easily converted into just a standard markdown table. So that's fine. I still see the data in there. It's a code block according to this, that's fine but it doesn't actually support tables. That's supposed to be coming early next year as well, 2021. That's it. That's kind of how I got started in craft um, without dropping all my data out of Obsidian. If you liked the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, you can subscribe and hit the bell and YouTube will probably never let you know something happened, but they tell us they will. Other ways to support the channel are to go to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale to support the channel or to go to curtismchale.ca slash Skillshare where you can sign up to Skillshare, take one of my courses. Got one on TickTick and one on time blocking. Have an awesome day.